มันอาสเตลังโอ้สนวันไปยากกิเลมโน่รักกิลันชาดิสับเพียร์เดมโน่บีทวิยาบีเดมปันเดเพย์เมนต์วันไปยาฟรันเดมแคนเซย์เดมกอดโมเนนเบบี I'm so happy I'm alive. That you're right here by my side. w h e t h e y are more be a worried. <laughs> good morning, good evening, good night. Greetings near and far. Why may I tell you? Somebody saying, strong one, my love your consciousness. Remember, I'm going to tell you. Sometimes it's too much. <laughs> And then make it even worse. You see the things that man can't talk. You can't say nothing. You have to just, you know, act like in a seat, seat on a seat. Sometimes that bothers me, you know? Like, we can't just. Come out and just say what you say. Because what me say, I know what everybody s a y you know? Some people may s a y don't know everybody s a y And because everybody knows, s a y a lot of people may think, oh, you're crazy, or b u g a t i n g so. But they don't say nothing. But they wait till they catch up and then they may see it, you know? And then you say, yes. Mm-hmm. You're not on smile, yep.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, if I say, yeah, I know that long time, I miss it. I just, mm-hmm. yeah, man, a true man. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, my people? I'm not s t a y with them long enough because I had a long day today. I worked very hard today. So I'm not s t a y long. But I had a very. Mm, I would say productive day, peaceful day. Yeah? Working on stuff for you, all for you. How <laughs> much things are going on in the world, don't it? But in the music world, Kemar McGregor have the,、um, what's that rhythm called? Recoup rhythm. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, somebody said Martinique. I can't wait to see you in Martin, Martinique. Yes, I'm going to be on that stage doing all your favorites in Martinique very shortly. I'll also be in. Uh, Grenada in a week and a half from now. I'll be in Grenada.、Um, few places to go. Roof, Roar Festival announced as well. So, Grenada Roar Festival, Martinique, and a few others. And look out for the、um, Recoup Rhythm with Kemar McGregor. Look out for the EP dropping shortly. 
Ooh, I can't wait, you guys. Mm-mm-mm. I can't wait for you guys to see the EP, the new album. What is the date for Martinique? May 12th. Am I going to um, Guadalupe? Okay, so May 12th, I'll be in Martinique. Um, I won't be in Canada. No, my dear, you're in Canada, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Look what I'm gonna beat my bad now. I'm gonna be in Toronto August 3rd. I never know that, but I mean, I will post all the dates as usual, you know, so you can see a list of them. Because boy, let me tell you so, I traveled through the airport the other day, and somebody said, Wait, hey, Tana, I see you last week. <laughs> I see you last week. I go through the airport. We are going the next. And if my answer no, yes, I will be in January for sure. I'd rather just like travel and, you know, do the shows and meet people. Remember, check it on. Do you remember when the sound clip out, uh, rebel salute, and you just go and sing and save the show? <laughs> the sound did clip out a rebel salute. Hey, let me tell you this. I'm one artist maybe that you... Maybe, maybe a sting. That not, not, well, that happened in Leeds. Let me tell you about two times the, the mic went out on me. Leeds. But up on the stage, you know. A matter of fact, yeah. They called me, I went on the stage, I started to sing. And the whole system shut down. And... They were like, no, just come off the stage, Tana. You know, come off the stage. My manager was there calling me. Everybody, come off the stage. I said, uh-uh. Me not come off. Me not come off of the stage until them turn on back the sound. When them turn on back the sound, me will perform and then me come off. So, I will say food after eat. <laughs> Why you think Sammy? I, I, it's not just, it's not about food I eat, you know. Like, there are many shows that I've done in my lifetime um, in music where it, it wasn't a payment thing. It wasn't about payment, you know. So, if you're in a music and you can do that one or two times, I don't know. I don't know, because you have to first love the music and love the people. And first, for me at least, I love music and I love people. Um, and of course, I do get paid, you know, but not every show is a pay is a payment thing. Sometimes there is no payment. So anyway, um, I wouldn't come off the stage till them turn on my zone, and the the crowd was so far, but I was still making them vibes. See them wait, a clap and a sing and a wait, you know, making the people them vibes they wait, and then. Eventually, they turned the sound back on, and I finished the show in, that is in Leeds, in England. And same thing with Sting. Me up on the stage, right? And the whole system went out, woo, just like that. Everything. Light everywhere. You know, Sting went back a fling. Right, people get pissed off for anything for any reason. Things not going how it are going. Them spend them good, good two thousand Jamaican dollar for reaching a show, and artists not performing or something's happening. They start throwing bottles and stones or whatever they can get. <laughs> and I think by that time though, they had um, stop, stop. You know, people from drinking out of bottles. You know, but people still find things for sure. Anyway. The song went out, woo, I may say. My background vocals then started to walk off. I may say, uh-uh, uh-uh, come back right there, so. Waiting where I have a vice for. And 
I'm going to say, every day I rise on a prayer. And I'm going to say, when I'm a lover, woman, and the crowd lift up from the front to the middle to the back, like a ripple effect, right? And everybody starts singing. And then when we reach out, we don't want no trouble. I'm going to say the entire crowd are singing in the dark. No mic, no music, nothing, just me and the entire sting crowd. That was a night. And then when I got off the stage, I mean, I walked through this little tunnel. <clears throat> you know, a little side stage. Mrs. Sharon Burke and Shaggy, them two of them, I buck up in and I'm Sharon said to me, say, yo, you're the only person who could have ever do that on a sting stage, you know? And up to this day, I asked Ling, just even down there, I said, Ling, where are they really going? Because nothing like that not at my year show. You name Ling, I don't have every day. All that for happen when me up on the stage. Why me? Of all the people. Him say, somebody went backstage where the, um, what them call it, something there where the, where the generator is, right? and drain out the gas when I was on the stage so the light shut off. So, to me, if them did I try, like, sabotage my show, I think they did me a favor because me and the people them bond even more and we just started singing like, like madness, you know? So, every time them come for me, them lose. That is the power of the Almighty. Yeah. That is the power of the Almighty. You leave them in awe, confusion. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, even today, Something like that weird, similar at me, you know? There was this guy, I don't know who he was, and he must say, um, bring, come closer to the stage. I must say, there are people on the stage right now performing. And the little walkway to the entryway to the stage was so small. Like if I stood there, they wouldn't have, like I would have to move out the way for them to get off the stage. So I said, let me wait until, in my mind I'm thinking, I'll wait till they call me. And then, because I'm not, like, I'm just like two steps away from the stage anyway. I mean, I knew if the boy get mad or what, but he gave me a mic that was clipping on the stage. So you know what my girl do. But it's God. Like, don't ever come for me with a mic. You know, like, don't try to, you know, sabotage, sabotage my show with a mic. Don't do that, because it's not going to work. <laughs> but well trained for that. I trained for some of the toughest battleground in a dance hall uh, in a Jamaica. Pan Jamaica stage in a dance hall, roughest, you know, where, all right, one day I'm going to go perform, right? They wouldn't let me on the stage. I'm a weird, weird, like my performance time was like, I'm going to know, 12, 1 o'clock. I'm going to stand up, I'm going to wait 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to stand up, I'm going to wait and... Mr. Richie Spice go up on the stage. I'm a thing say Richie Spice never call me Richie Spice never call me some ass that shit. Let me see. Um, Chuck Fender rush the stage and grab the mic from Richie. Some man said, Well, I'm not go up in that, but at the same time now, me and the security guard are war now, I must say, nah let me on. Nah let me on on the stage. <laughs> so I gathered all the people that I came with. I must say, look behind me. You really want to stop me from going up on the stage right now? <laughs> look behind me, though. The man just take time and move. 
And when we move, when you move, I run up on the stage and do the same thing I saw Chuck Fender do. I grab the mic too. And I just started singing and, you know, especially when back then, when you're a female, you know, as a female, you always like was the last one to get the mic. You know, the last, you kind of have to do the same thing with them though. They're fighting, you better fight too, fight for the mic. <laughs> so I grabbed the mic too, you know, and them are going and them, them are lift up the crowd, you know. I lift up the crowd, fight, you know, everybody are going bad and fire the open at the ear and thing. And I'm saying, yo, I got to go hard or go home, you know. I'm going to say, so you beat them. No, sir. Only rocket did left for them launch that night. They tear up the place. It was wicked. But that's what you do. And come out and say, we don't want no trouble. Yes. So that was some of the stuff. You know, um, when I was first coming out, I up on the stage and sing. No, Richie was sick. And we needed to, you know, fill the time that he was, you know, supposed to perform. And I remember them coming to me and say, yo, you have to go sing something, you know, you have to go, you have to go sing something. But I was like, I mean, them time, they never have no song, you know, they never have no wrong address, no roots, no nothing like. My name wasn't even a Tana then, like, you know, I was just a background vocalist. I must say, hey, oh yeah, turn it up, so, cho. And <laughs> them say, yeah, I forgot to sing something, my man said, shh, all right. All right. So, um, I'm going to come up on the stage and I'm going to start. I heard you had a good song. I heard you had a style. Something like that, you know? And I'm going to start singing. I remember I'm going to tell you, say, the crown of Guan. Then all of a sudden, I hear my mic go dead. I said, what is? I just bend down and put on the mic on the ground. And just open my mouth in the crowd, in the, the venue. I'm going to say, the crowd lift. When I say lift, lift. The whole room was heated. And when I came off the stage, hear the, hear the, um, one of the musicians named to me, yo, I devon tell me something to kick out your mic. <laughs> Because they never thought that I would get the response that I got, right? And then that was that. Them tell the musician themselves, if you kick out my mic. But you don't know me already. Don't try to style me with a mic because I, I was born with a gift that I'm grateful for given to me by the most I to trudge through this earth right so anywhere anytime anyway anytime anyway anytime I'm gonna sing remember that I'll try style me, me I go sing. Somebody said no fighting. They're not stop fight yet. You think them done? <laughs> you think them done? <laughs> them not done yet. Me say. If me telling us some story and telling us some things that these people do and have done, and I wouldn't believe it. And if me tell you, call some of the name them where I do it, on the mouth with a drop a ground. 
or maybe we wouldn't be surprised still because well, if things are going in the world, you probably wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, but I'm telling you some things. I think the, the most, um, the most that I've ever seen it, the most aggressive that I've ever seen it is on my second nomination um, for my Reggae Forever, for my Reggae Forever album. That's the worst I've ever seen it. Pamoja, sorry. My Pamoja album, the worst I've ever seen it. Yeah? Worse, me ever see it. One day, me in my my house, and you know when you like lay down, but you sleep half sleep, right? And I saw like light came into my face, and I jumped up. I was like, wait a minute. I literally could feel like light in my face, like somebody light either a candle or a, or use a lighter and light it, you know? I'm a jump, I was like, what the hell? Anyway, me, I got up out of bed and I said to um, my other half, I said, yo, Remember that girl you said you saw on Instagram that do nails or whatever? I want to go see her to go do my nail. And when Marie, she said, I do nails, but I'm also a spiritual person and I prayed for you. I prayed for God to help you. But I can't believe that you were here to me now she never solicited nothing I don't know her she don't know me with us I just I was I was you know I felt that I needed to meet this girl and when we meet her the girl is a mighty God and she just started to pray the entire time Pray like hard praying, way down deep praying, like for hours praying, 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 and she couldn't stop, and she couldn't stop, and she just kept going, and she just kept going, and she said, "My girl, them I walk too hard, I get them one, get rid of you. You don't know that. You not know, look round. You not seeing what's happening. What are you do? You not know, look." She said, "Oh, you have a dear ear." No, make them do your ear again. Oh, you ever do your ear? I was like, what are you talking about? And it never dawned on me that the people I trusted around me was working with my enemies. Right? And a few months after, after everything was done, I can't even tell them the old story. I can't even tell them everything. Few months after, um, maybe a month or two pass, right? And I sit down in my room, and a, the voice said, "Go and turn on your Instagram and tell them say, when you go too far over in the dark, you can't come back over, and no matter how many times you call, there will be no answer." I mean, I said, shit, I can't do that. I'm no Christian. I mean, I'm not new. That thing said, my mom do it. I'm sitting there, I talk to myself. I mean, I said, I don't like to say I'm a pastor or something. I can't go. I don't even have no makeup on my face. The, and I couldn't sit still. I'm going to go. And I actually said it. This was about September, October. October. Right? Then I said it. And... The following year, I met one of the hairstylists. So you know, so I'm going to skip enough when I reach a hairstylist. I'm going to tell them the whole story. I'm going to need about an hour. <laughs> and I was in my, my regular nail shop. Where I'm going to go, right? 
I'm a city ear stylist, and she say, you know, I no longer do ear. I turn my life over to the God. But I, I was sitting there doing my nails, right? I'm a city girl walking, but she walked back out. And she walk in and she walked back out. I was like, and then she sat next to my husband who was just sitting there talking to him. I was like, oh shit. I wonder if I wanted the girl limb this or something. <laughs> and only for fine old say, she said to me, I just wanted you to I wanted to tell you that I no longer go to the ear shop and I turn my life over to God. And I said to myself, if you just do ear, what does that have to do with you turning your life over to God? You can still do ear. I can't give you the story straight. But can you know something? I don't believe in, like, dwelling on negative things and people who vibrate on a lower level because people who vibrate on a lower level do lower level things right so my mind is not there I don't focus on those things I just keep my focus on what my goals are and where I, I want to go and where I need to go you know Somebody say, are you Christian? I grew up in a Christian church. Going to Christian church. I got different levels of, you know, Christian church. Churches. Like, I go um, Baptist. I go Methodist. I go um, Catholic. <laughs> but I tell you something. Women are like more religion, you see? People focus on not for the rules. And I'm mean, not like Tabo religion too because it costs too much war all over the world. And people have their own ideas. And what everybody fails to understand is <clears throat> everybody is on their own journey. Right? And everybody sees the world differently. But as it relates to religion, see? Them focus on what pastor say. All the rules, them in the Bible. And different, different denominations and the rule there and the one that's enough to eat this and the one that's enough to eat and you're not you're not you're not Christian so you can't sit on this and you're not you're too secular so you can't sit on this so what we miss all the time eh when you did born as a baby you didn't know about religion hmm what we miss all the time is how we deal with each other, how we treat each other. How do you treat people? Check in your mind and think, how do you deal with people? Hmm? Some people get up every day, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Or some people get up every day, Ja, Rastafari. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. They do nothing that they're supposed to do for themselves, not for humanity. Them now not loving at them. Them are cold like ice. And come Sunday, <clears throat> them in a spirit. Hallelujah. I'm not on that. I'm not a hypocrite. I believe in love and I believe in humanity and I believe in goodness because I know his mercy endureth forever and I am because you are me not better than you you not better than me we are all human beings traveling through this earth to learn our own lessons and to learn from each other, to be kind to each other and to care and share for the elderly 
and our children, and your child is my child. So many in the religious argument, and if you are Rasta, be Rasta when you are weird. See, locks become like a style for many people across the world. But when it have meaning to some, it must not have meaning halfway. Even though we are, we're not perfect, you know, we are human me, being. That means to say, we're going to have faults and flaws and all kind of things. But in your heart, as a child, you know when you have do something wrong. Nobody now have to tell you. You ever see one baby have do something with them, nothing to do it? They got this little look on their face. They know they're not supposed to do it. Who tell them they're not to do it? Some things you just know. You know you're not to do it. So why you do it? Why did I go to Bobo? Because just like I'm going to go to any other church, any other place through my spiritual journey, me go up a bubble hill because I wanted to see what it was about. I wanted to see. I I wanted to see my my heart and my journey. My journey brought me there. My path brought me to Bobo Hill to see what it was like. And I Uh, was a part of the camera crew. Oh, big up yourself. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> I hope you did me justice, you know. But thank you, anyways. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm go up on Bobo Hill. Somebody said, why I'm go up on Bobo Hill? I went there. Just my, my, my path, my spiritual journey brought me through Bobo Hill. And what, but I mean, I forgot to go back before that. Like, I would have to go back before somebody said to make sacrifice. Well, at different levels and different kind of sacrifice, you know. You know? But wait, what kind of sacrifice you mean? Like, a spiritual journey or a path don't necessarily cause you to make sacrifice. And you know, go Baba Il for make sacrifice. What kind of sacrifice you have to but you know when I say Bobo Elans, um, I would never disrespect. So be careful. We are talking about them people. Eh? The sacrifice that they make in their lives is them pray. Them pray throughout the day, starting from six o'clock in the morning. Right, they live their life or their lives a certain kind of way that the average person cannot. That is their freedom sacrifice. Removing toxic persons from my life isn't a sacrifice because when you know God, you see, or when you when you know the creator and when you see or when when you when you know that when you know love toxic people they fall off on their own you know after do nothing they fall off then can't stay around if they do even come around, some of them, some of them too toxic or too, them can't even come close. Toxic people fall off. No worry about them. Something you top on a different level, my you. You gotta go. You gotta go. I don't talk to you. Are you on some, some different things? Somebody say, can you? Pray with someone and can you pray anywhere? I don't know about that. When me I pray, I don't have to pray. I don't, I don't. When me communicate with the Most High, I do that on my own. Like that, that's not that's not a rule by nobody. 
Nobody no govern that for me. That's like talking to my mother or my father. You can't govern that. You don't have no authority over that. You don't have no talk that is between me and Moses. You have to talk to him yourself. Yeah, you know, govern that for me. Me deal with that for my own. Because every man coming at this world by themselves, except for them uber and twin and triplet and quadruplet or whatever. <laughs> yeah, nobody no govern that for me. That's not, that's not even something you should ask me about. That's not your business. Yeah. I know you're a business. Don't ask me that. So, anywho, I think my chat to one enough and long to. I'm about to go. Somebody says, see it, and even then, twins come out at one. You see it? <laughs> I'm about to go. I'm take my day along. But nice reasoning still. I'm going to ask some interesting questions. I love you all. Blessed love and light. Take care till I see you again. I can't wait for the new music to drop. The new EPs, album, all the things. I can't wait for it. I'm excited. I hope you are going to, I hope you feel good about it when it drops. I know mu new music, good music. Somebody said, no, I just got on. <laughs> Any new music and continue to make a fashion statement. Brap, you know what it takes. <laughs> you know what a thing brap brap you know it's coming right you know what say that come don't it I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this before I go away the other day I'm gonna say pretty Donna talk and she say boo 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 I be a laugh a laugh no, sir. When I make me laugh, I saw internet for nice still. Social media for nice is there to entertain us and keep us going, you know, going through the motions of life every day. Ghana, big up yourself. Oh, I have a new song with Samin, you know, the song The Bad. Shatawale. This a mini song not up on the album though. Cause it's you know, it's for a later release. It's on his EP that's coming out here. Man, I know maybe if I go and look out for Samini, look out for the artist that he's got a song that we did together and it's wicked. I love it. Love, love, love the song. Donna pre for money. <laughs> well, shaffa do what shaffa do, you know. It's entertainment to me. It's entertaining, you know. I rise, I rise. See, I'm hurting but not broken. Down but I won't die. Alright. Tomorrow, another day, I'm going to the I Rise story. When I feel like popping up again. I have to rest my voice because I have a show. Monday. I got to perform on Monday. So. Yeah, the new music, nice. You've already heard, like, um, you heard, um, What's that song called? Um, I won't give up. I won't give in. 
I'm gonna keep on winning, yeah. I won't give up. So, I wrote that song for um, to influence people who feel like letting go or giving up, you know? I was very sad and I still, I still, you know, feel a way when I think about the girl who gave her life, who took her own life. She was very beautiful and young. I need to find out, I need to remind myself of what her name is and I'm gonna keep her picture. And every now and then I'm gonna remind every one of you never to give up. No matter how hard things get, you gotta remember that that is a challenge. That is a, there is a lesson in it that you must learn. And there is like, you know, you'll be able to look back at that day and be like, yo, remember when I said I was going to do this? Remember when I thought I was going to do this? Like, never give up. Life is, life is a journey. I've got my lessons to learn. And if I get lost, may I find my way. May my blessings stay with me. And if there is trouble, I'll be reminded I've got all that I need in me. I won't give up. I won't give in. I'm going to keep on trying. When the battle gets tough, when the going gets rough, and if I get weary, yeah, yeah. May Jack carry me, may the waters guide me, may the winds speak to me. And if I ever feel like I had enough, Somebody said you should add that to the set. <laughs> if I ever feel like I had enough, may my feet be lifted and the trees they whisper to me. I won't give up. I won't give in. I'm going to keep on winning. You got to keep on, keep on, keep on. Doing what you're doing. Never give up. I love you. <laughs> Bless.